Hello to all my friends out there. So I did need in my car because it was starting to get dark. And so what I had was some sausages and potatoes. So I wanted to eat those up. And so I saw this guy, this older guy, buying these at um, 99 cent only for $2. So I I have $1 worth of sausage. And while I was, what I did is I just drizzled the food with, um, oil and then I covered it and it was most of the way done and then I uncovered it and at the same time I heated a hot dog bun so this is one of those meals I've been making with very few ingredients that's tasty and cheap and so as you know I've been very cheap heavy on the hot dog light on the bun <laughs> And this is one small potato, so it's not to overdo it. The reason I wasn't very hungry is because I ate all of the cinnamon rolls because I'm eating what I love, and I love the cinnamon rolls. <laughs> I just kept eating them until, you know, they were all gone. So, you know, it took me a while to get hungry. So, um, okay, so I will have a little mustard. So this is one of those meals that I've been making all month with very few ingredients. It's cheaper, you guys. And then I like um, mustard and relish. ridiculous so let's see this is dill relish one of the things I use a lot is iced teaspoons one time I was taking this math class and the teacher had to tell us this he goes you know what I used to do when I was young I would eat ice cream while I was doing my homework right out of the the carton with an iced teaspoon well, at that time, I couldn't find any iced teaspoons, you know, I was tearing up the town because I needed this ice cream. And so ever since then, every time, now this has been good. I bought this at 99 cents only. So what I like to eat for lunch is a sandwich and a small salad or a small fruit. And then I like to put some um, salsa. I have Walmart salsa. This way you'll always have a good salad even if you run out of tomatoes. Which out here never happens, but just in case. And then I like to sprinkle uh, Parmesan cheese. So I have two kinds. This kind, they're both a dollar, but I usually use this one on a salad. I buy these big jars for a dollar. I, I stockpile them too. And then usually on this kind of salad, I like um, balsamic vinegar. Oh, but I have blue cheese from last night, so I, I will have that. So this is one of those cheap meals, you guys. And then, you know, I have ketchup. Notice I bought for 50% off with the fries. So let me give you a close-up. Let's go from this direction. So that's a pretty cheap meal. So, okay. The reason I have to get home, and then this is some uh, leftover chamomile tea. The reason I have to get home before dark out here is because there's not good street lights like in the city. And people, I know these people because I used to work in this area. They work really hard and they drive like 50 and 60 miles in town. And there's and there's traffic going across the street. It's super dangerous. And one of my neighbors, um, like when I come up home, he will ride me 
And like when I turn into my own driveway, he blares his horn. This is like every night. I go, why is it I'm always coming home when he's coming home? So I don't want to be out too late because, you know, I don't want to be annoyed. Okay, so I have to get home before dark. So out here at 5.30, it's pitch dark out here. So I wanted, I wanted to show you what I bought today. Okay, first of all, the shopping was really, really bad. I only went to one um, store and I bought this nice feng shui book. Let's see if there was a price on this. I bought this for myself. I'm not planning on selling, it doesn't have a price. But one thing that interests me, you know, I have the three couches and the small living room. I go, well, this shows some, you know, possibilities. We'll see. And then the other thing is the gardens. So believe it or not, and so I got this book for $2 and that's all I bought. So I'm doing the minimizing. So like, I never want to get rid of my stuff but I found two things that I'm going to purge, these two lovely forks. First of all, the reason I'm gonna purge them is because I don't like eating cake with them, so I'm gonna purge them. So I brought in one thing and I purged two things. But here's one of my spoons that I dearly love. This is like from India, see, I don't know if you can see it, see the little, um, there's an elephant, and I think that's a Buddha up top. And so if I wanted to, I can always sell this spoon for $3 at the swap meet. But I don't want to because I, I really like it. So um, I got a bunch of nice books. And so I heard this thing that was on the Minimalist channel that the average person only doesn't even read one book. I read between five and 10 books at a time. And what I do is I just read, I got that really nice uh, Leonardo da Vinci book for my birthday, and I'm reading two pages in that. I got my um, new feng shui book. Sometimes I might read 50 pages. And I also got um, a fashion book, and you know, I'm reading through each fashion house. So in time, the little by little approach is the way to go. You retain it better, you enjoy it, you can, flip from one subject to the other and so um i also listen while i'm doing my work to audiobooks and one thing that really helped me i was reading think and grow rich that's spiritism but nonetheless it's very popular and i had um a really old um book it was along those lines and um, I priced it high and somebody, uh, you know, people collect these, you know, with libraries. Somebody asked me to reduce the price to like $27. So I took it and they were really happy. They might've sold it and made a profit, but that was fine. And then I'm reading The Secret Doctrine. And so in The Secret Doctrine, they say, don't just read things, you know, read it through and think you know it read it and then think about it. So I've been doing that in the secret doctrine too. Uh, a lot of it is occultism. So what I do is I take what I like and I leave the rest. And it really does have a good influence on your life, all this reading. A lot of the books I have are like um, picture, but there's a lot of pictures. Like uh, the other book I'm reading is the Chanel jewelry book. And, and like nine tenths of it is pictures. So, you know, I might read five or 10 pages a day in that book. And eventually you have all these books done and you know, it does affect you. So the little things add up. Like what? I fixed my jungle in the front yard. I cleaned the car many times. I'm minimizing the kitchen. I came up with four meal plans, weekly meal plans. I spent very little money living in my car and I'm learning about the car living. And so, you know, I'm working on an art project, which is a library that's like um, an art project. And I got the four new books. I also got um, a silk blouse and a really uh, pretty New York, uh, I mean, Newport Beach blouse. And so, for less than $10, I got hundreds of dollars worth of stuff. And when you do this all the time, it adds up. 
Okay, so now um, I'm going through the four items that might inflate. And I'm saying, do I have beef? Yes. Do I have dairy? Yes, but I could use more cheese, more eggs, and more cream cheese. Uh, they counted eggs separate. Potatoes, yes, I bought 10 pounds of potatoes. Leafy green veggies, yes, I bought salad stuff. So you might wanna check this out as these are may inflate. So, lunchtime. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.